everyone welcome back to my channel today we are unboxing the outre jordana quick weave it's really good very easy i just want to unbox it for you guys because i keep buying this wig multiple times i'm actually wearing one now as you can see it's bunned up it's ready to go i've had this one in my head for i want to say since december like not literally in my head but i've taken it on and off throughout i did like maybe two quick weaves in between time but I always keep coming back to it just because it's just like an easy put on, put off when you don't want to do the whole glue down process or anything like that. It's a quick weave, of course, so there's not a lace. It is just one of those put in, kind of put together ones. This one's darker. This one's actually the chocolate cream. So you're getting like a darker look. I like lighter colors, like kind of like going into like a blonde ombre. So this one's a little different for me. I think this is the third one I've bought so far. I just, I like the quality of it. Most of the time when you do, you know, like a synthetic wig, you don't really get all that you want out of it. You know, there's always the three triangle pieces. It's length, quality, and color. And this is like the only time where I found all three in a wig or a half a wig. This can be used as both simply because it has the opening. There are two combs in the front and one in the back. Very convenient, why not? And then it's pretty long. They never really tell you the exact length. I don't understand that, but I'm five foot even and it comes down to the middle toward the end of my back. Very, very long, very, very full. I like to say when you do synthetic hair, either it's gonna be super, super thin and kind of shiny giving like a clown wig material or it's gonna give you a long voluminous type of look. And this was $31 after tax, I think $33 and some change. Very, very affordable. You just can't really beat the price. I mean, when it comes to most of the time doing these types of synthetic wigs, you know, they're only good for a couple of days. And it's like with this, I've literally been able to take it off, you know, put it back on, bun it up. I could do a lot of styles with it. Like I said, they're making them thinner. I think maybe four or five years ago, you would try to see like a half a wig or a quick wig type of thing and the front will be super bumpy. They're not bumpy anymore. They actually lay more flat. So you are able to put them with like the headbands across. It's just really pretty guys. It's a little darker. And like I said, I'm, I like light colored hair. I prefer like a blonde, you know, maybe like an ombre maybe like a black i really prefer brown that's why i kind of keep coming back to them just because they go like it's at the root portion it's like a black then it and goes straight into like a brownish and then whatever the ending color is at the bottom the width of it is pretty long facing and then as far as like the inside i like to think that i have a small towards regular size head so for me personally this is the only brand that i trust when it comes to synthetic wigs just because i don't get shedding i've had like synthetic wigs and they have like a lot of shedding just because it's like fibers and it's just you know kind of out there like that but i haven't had any shedding with these wigs like of course if you're brushing hard just as anything you're gonna see hair if you're brushing and combing consistently and just raking but overall 10 out of 10 because you do get the color I like going for certain colors, especially like an ombre look. And most of the time synthetic, for synthetic wigs, it just kind of comes as it comes. And remember, you can't dye them. You're not able to really do that much with them, but wear them in style or the exact type of way that it came. So you get all that length. The curls last, I wanna say, like if you plan on wearing this just for like a week or two, that's fine. The curls stay like this loose wavy look that you get. You are able to like curl it for 400 degrees. That's the highest though. I tried it on like a 350 with a curling iron. It worked. It worked very well. It actually gave it like a little bump at the end because I was framing it to my face a little more. Because like I said, it is a half a wig. So you do have to kind of maneuver some things. You may want to do a headband or you may want to try to do like a, you know, a little bit of leave out around the perimeter. That's probably what she has in the photo here. It's showing it to be like maybe she has, yeah, some leave out in the front. 
I'm not really a big fan of leave out just because I feel like when you're doing a lot of different type of hairstyles and stuff like that, the leave out has to keep going back and forth. If I wanted a sew in, I'd do a sew in. The point of these is because you don't have to do a sew in necessarily. You literally just clip it on. It's pretty secure. Like I said, I literally have it up in a ponytail now and I haven't seen anything different about it that will make me feel like, oh no, I'm not gonna buy it. Highly recommend, especially here in Vegas. You know, you go into salons and you go into hair shops and then you go into like a beauty supply and they're just selling like hella synthetic wigs. I've seen synthetic wigs like $200 and like they'll say, you know, 360 or this and that. But with a headband, pretty much anything is 360. As I said, I have this wig on my head now, just in a different color. It's like a... I think it's like a blonde something they call it. They have like a different kind of blonde pictures on here. So it's like one of the two. Of course, it comes with a hairnet. You don't have too much to do with it. It's safe to wash. I washed mine one time just to see what would happen if I washed it and I just let it air dry. And it was really bouncy. It was really bouncy. For synthetic hair, I was able to like put it in hot water just for a little bit. But what I like to do is put the curling rods. Like if you take like some dry foam curling rods and you just curl the ends and you just like wrap it up and then overnight let it sit like that and in the morning you wake up with the dry rods, it will literally just have more of a bouncy curl to it. So you get everything that you need with this wig. You don't have to worry about, you know, different types of things that may occur if you're taking it off and putting it back on. Like I said, to be super honest with you, I've had this wig since December and it is February. So, and it's still going strong. I'm over it because I wanna try this color. It's darker, but it's not me straining away too far from my comfort zone. Cause like I said, my comfort zone is like a blondish ombre, but they have it in red. They have it in different colors. And I was just like, okay, this is actually cute. Actually, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm just going to read the colors off. So yeah, this is the one I had. It was DR4 Tiramuso. I cannot pronounce that. It's this one. I don't know if you can see that. I'll leave it in description. And then the one I'm holding now, DR Chocolate Cream. And then there's a Cinnamon Wine, a Ginger Brown, and a Golden Amber. So the first one I ever had was a golden amber. It was like a yellowy brown, very beautiful. The one I'm wearing now, the DR4 Tiramisu. And then I wanna try the cinnamon wine. I haven't really done red hair a lot because I did that a lot when I was a teenager. Like that's all I would put is red hair, red tracks, red braids, red, red, red. So as I got older, I was like, let's stick with a more I want to say presumable color just because my work and what I do for a living. So you have to have more respectable colors and they don't really consider fire red to be respectable colors. But anywho, just want to give you guys a final touch into that. And it is saying and descriptive as a quick weave. It does have the new half wig flat flat cap I guess and it lays flatter so I'm gonna put you guys in on this as you can see like really you got a big space amount so like it's pretty widened of course it has the two clip fastens I just feel like this wig is like my go-to this brand is like my go-to I feel like if I tried a different brand I would have to like be sure just because I've been sticking with this one. It's really pretty and it works so well and just has a lot of flavor and the consistency. I've been pulling it this whole time. Like if you guys catch up and just pulling it and pulling it and pulling it, it's not really shiny. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, it's so shiny or think that it's like, no, it gives off a very, very natural blend. And if you do, my hair is 4C texture. So just to get it to blend with this, it'll take a lot. So that's why I said I prefer headband method. You, it's like the best of both worlds because if you buy a headband wig, it literally has a headband attached to it. And I don't know about you guys, but I like the freedom of knowing that if it, if it's just this way without a headband attached, I could still do it half up, half pony with 
leave out if I wanted to. It'll be more work, but it is possible. I feel like with headband wigs, it's kind of a one a one way street. So you do get the versatility of this. And if you pull it to the side a little bit like this, you still get a nice form figure. And it's not like the tracks are showing. So like if you put it in a bun like I have mine now and you want to pull it all up into a ponytail, you could do so. It's just very cute, very nice. Excited to put this one on just to see what it's giving. As I said, I have this one in now and I've loved it so much. It has just been very, very, very well kept hair for synthetic. Like you, you're just not finding that everywhere when you do synthetic hair. You literally get synthetic hair and sometimes it's just a complete mess. And that's probably why I've been so comfortable about this particular brand and probably why I decided to make this video because I was like, this is where it's at. If you're doing synthetic, I have nothing against synthetic hair. I like it because it's, it's always more affordable. And like I said, you get to pop it on, pop it off without the havoc. It's just really nice and cute. And I was like, let's go ahead and do a quick video review about it. Like I said, it lasts, okay? It lasts, lasts. You can really have this going for a long time, as long as you need it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting it on and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.